Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to create buttons to run macros. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to access VB editor in Excel and the structure of VB editor and some important options that you can use inside of the virtual basic editor. Let's get started now. Here I have a Z 2013 new workbook. Okay, open right here. Okay, the name of the workbook is Workbook One. And if you have any any version of Z, you don't need to install anything to access VBA. You don't need any heading, you don't need any different setup. All you need is to open your Excel workbook, then you can access the VBA. So let me show you different ways to access VB editors window. In this case, here I have the developer tab right up here. In your Excel version, if you do not have the developer tab activated, you can add it by simply right click, right click on any of the tab up here okay and uh, and click on the customize the ribbon okay and within the customize the ribbon you have the this option right here this option right here developer if you are not seeing the proper tab this will be on check okay this will be okay simply check this and press okay okay and when you do that you will have the developer tab visible okay right up here if you are using the zl 2007 then you will have to go to you have, you have to go to uh, into the Excel option to enable it okay when i click on the developer tab right up here okay so when i click on it here I have these various groups. Okay, I have this video within the code group. Here I have this virtual basic option. And uh, if I hover around this right here, you can see you can see that it says virtual basic, and the keyboard shortcut is Alt F level so the two method that you have you have already seen in, is you can either click on the button or you can use the keyboard shortcut out f level so let me show you what happened when i click on the on the on this button okay as soon as i click here it opens completely new windows which is Microsoft Microsoft Virtual Basic for application, okay? And the name, you can see, and the name of the workbook. Now, if you are looking at this window for the very first time, do not get overwhelmed by all these options. We will go through these again and again, but there are some important parts that we will cover in this video. The first thing, to note here is the project VBA project. Okay, this is the project window. It is called the project explorer window, which is where you will see all this workbook. Okay, as of now, I have only I have only one Excel workbook open, which is uh, which is the say the VBA. Which is say the VBA project book one, okay? You can see so VBA project book one, okay? And if I save this, the VBA project book one, it will save the name test as a test.xlsx or text.xlxm or whatever format I use. If I over the already open already open Excel icon right here at the menu bar down here you will also see that I have two 
windows okay i have two windows on, on one which is the normal excel and um, one which is the the vb editor now if i hover back to the project in the vb project book one there there you will see the object you see the object as i mentioned in the previous video tutorial vpa is nothing but object oriented programming so it has many objects which is not a zero so a zero is an object which has this work group that is the vpa vpa project one and then within the workbook we have this worksheet okay right here okay uh, which is what the sheet one so here I have microsoft excel object okay which i have microsoft excel object and within within this we have sheet one and the entire workbook okay if i go back to the normal excel right here if i go back to the normal excel is it already open here and i had an, um, another sheet which is what sheet two and now here if i go back now here you see that that's added the sheet two so these are different objects that are listed here now the other thing will be in the with the property window so if i go to view okay if i go to view then click on the property okay if i click on the property then I have these property windows available if you want to make this visible just select the word the object right here okay so just select the object okay and you can see if i click forward and, and you can also click here on this part likewise in this property windows i have this property for the selected object okay you can see i have this property for the selected object for for the properties okay so now then if i select sheet one right here if i select sheet one okay then i have the property for sheet one so if i select sheet two okay then I have the property for what sheet two right and now an interesting thing to note here is that every object especially the sheet object here will have two names okay one will be the internal internal name and the and the external names okay here you can see it says sheet says sheet one and within the bracket it says sheet one now let's see what happens if i go back to the normal excel and name this sheet as what i need name this sheet as what let's see test one okay and now go back to the virtual basic editor window i can either click here or press the shortcut key which is the alt f level see what happened now it says sheet one you can see and within the bracket it says test one which means that in the bracket we have the name that can be changed by the user this name sheet one outside the bracket cannot be changed by the user so in the in the property window you will see that we have a name which is in the bracket okay which is in the bracket here which is what the sheet one and we have the name which is what the test one right here this is the one that user can change which is what the test one but this one which is the sheet one that the user is the one, the one that the user cannot change so if you rename this sheet one to anything let's say t one okay this is the name that you can also use to refer 
tulifaa to refer this she to anything okay in your worksheet now without getting to too technical just understand that there are two names that you can use we will see how we use it later when we talk about the worksheet all right let me stop from here in my next video tutorial i'm going to show you more function on how to access vb editor in neze and the structure of vb editor Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll keep giving you more of the Excel function. Bye!